So let's talk about some Chrome shortcuts. And these are by far my favorite things to show people because um, one of the fastest way to boost your uh, productivity is to work fast within Google Chrome. And that comes within the expectation that you're not going to use Internet Explorer, that you're not going to use Safari, that you're not going to use um, Firefox, that the only thing you're going to use to uh, access QuickBooks Online will be uh, the, will be Google Chrome. And that's it. OK, not even the QuickBooks desktop app. I hate the QuickBooks desktop app. Google Chrome to me is the best uh, thing to use for QuickBooks Online. So we're going to go through all these shortcuts here. Control click, Control shift click, Control tab. These are all very relevant. So let me open up QuickBooks here. And let's go through uh, let's go through the shortcut. So the first shortcut that you need to know is if you right click on any tab in the top top left here and you click on duplicate, it will now duplicate the tab. So now we'll have uh, two tabs where you logged into the exact same thing. And what this will allow you to do is to have, for example, you can have the sales page on one uh, tab, one Google Chrome tab. And then if I click on the other tab, I can have the workers page or whatever. I'm just using that as an example. So I can quickly have multiple screens open and I can do I can have maybe a report like a profit and loss and then I'm I'm doing transactions at the same time and I'll, let me give you a, just a kind of a practical example of that so let me pull up a profit and loss here and uh, this is a year to date so I'm gonna hit collapse here for a second and I just want you to see our total sales here are uh, 10,000 so on the other tab I'm gonna open up an invoice so let me go to uh, uh, new transactions invoice and I'm gonna go ahead and create an invoice for like let's say a million dollars or something like that just so so it stands out and it shows up on the P&L uh, very quick so let me put here one zero 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 okay there you go one million dollars and then I'll do a save and close okay and then I click on the other tab and I'm on my reports page and then at, at this point all I would have to do in my reports page is click on uh, run report if I wanted to refresh Okay, so that's one one of the things I can do, hit run report, or I can click on the refresh button for uh, Google Chrome, or I can hit control R on my keyboard and it will refresh the page. Okay, so that's a, just a couple of really cool things and it doesn't, it doesn't exclude me or preclude me from having something else open in another tab. And I think that to me, it's one of the most powerful things that you can do in Google Chrome. If you didn't know this, consider your productivity just get quadrupled or quadrupled <laughs> so let me I'm gonna click on the uh, minimize button uh, here on the top right and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller let me do the same thing with the PowerPoint presentation and then I'll show you something else so if I actually grab one of these tabs and I drag them off onto uh, somewhere to the left or to the right you're gonna see now two separate uh, screens and these are two Google Chrome screens and if you have a if you have a PC you can do um, the Windows menu left arrow and then you can have half the screen on one side and then you can do a Windows menu right arrow and you can have half the other screen on the other side. And now you can do really interesting things. So for example, um, if you're if you're if you want to just kind of want to have a PL uh, live on the screen while you're doing invoices on the right side, you can do this as well. OK, and obviously, the bigger the monitor, the better. Um, and this does work in Safari, I believe, and Mozilla and stuff like that. So we haven't gotten into the specifically the Google Chrome uh, shortcuts. But this is actually a, an extremely powerful thing now. So far, with one session of Google Chrome open, you can have two multiple QuickBooks files. We're going to get to that uh, soon, okay? But that's just a really important thing. And if I grab this uh, tab and I drag it and put it uh, in my main screen, and then I come back and maximize my screen, I get back to uh, sweep, sweep, uh, switching between screens. Now, another thing I want to show you is actually really, really cool. I'm going to click here on uh, taxes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click on taxes. And I want you to notice up here in the top of the screen, um, I would say about uh, about you know, where the second tab is. I'm going to control click taxes and I want you to see what happens when I control click taxes. It opens up the link and it opens it up as an additional tab, but it doesn't highlight. It just sits there in the background. So I would have to go back to it and open it if I wanted to go into the sales tax screen. I'm going to close that for a second. But if I actually do Control Shift click on taxes, it will open it up in a new tab and also take me straight to it. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, um, Control click or Control Shift click would actually uh, be um, be useful. Okay. 
me see what other uh, shortcuts here. So, okay, so we also have Control Tab that's actually really useful. So what Control Tab does, if I hit Control Tab, it will swap across tabs. So if Control Tab will just cycle, right? It will cycle through all my tabs. So if I have multiple uh, tabs open, let's do another tab here. So I have, if I have multiple tabs open, I have, let's say, expenses on one side, and I have uh, something else on another side, as, as I hit Control Tab, it will toggle through the screens. So that's actually a really good way. If I hit Control Shift Tab, then you guessed it, it goes toggles to the screens, but backwards. So Control Shift Tab. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Oh, Control Shift T, I love this one, and this one is gonna blow your mind. And I hope you're ready for this, right? So many a times I have a tab open, and I completely, by mistake, I close it. So I click on the little X and I close it. And you're like, oh crud, I wanna get back to it. So you hit Control, Shift T, and it will basically open up the tab that you just closed. So if you close a tab by mistake, Control, Shift, T, uh, T will send you back to the last uh, tab you had open. So that's actually a, a huge one uh, for me. It actually, it makes a really huge uh, difference. Then there's also a couple ones here. So I think I mentioned uh, Control R. Um, so if you wanted to refresh the screen, you know, most people would just click on the little uh, refresh button. Control R will refresh any screen. Whoops, I hit Control P. If I hit Control R, it will refresh any screen. And this is particularly important for reports. So if I'm in the report screen, I need to refresh it. Just hit Control R and it will refresh the reports for me. I think that's quite possibly one of the most um, imp important ones that you would have. Okay, um, so that's control, and then control backspace. That's actually not even having anything to do really with um, with uh, with QuickBooks. And I'll show you this one. This is just a general Windows shortcut. So let me open up an invoice here. I'm just gonna open up any invoice that I have open. Hopefully, I have some descriptions. Okay, uh, there's not that much description. Okay, so focus here where it says thank you for your business and have a great day. So everybody knows that if you want to delete a character, you hit backspace and backspace deletes a character, okay? There's nothing exciting about that. But if I hit Control Backspace, it deletes the whole word. So sometimes we wanna delete things a lot faster, but not want, not wanna delete the whole thing, and we wanna delete uh, the whole word. And if I do Control Backspace a few times, and then do Control Z for undo, I go back into everything I deleted. So Control Backspace to delete whole words, and Control Z to go back and rewrite the words that I just uh, deleted. Okay, someone's noting that Control R could also be replaced by F5 on your keyboard, and that's right. F5 is also a um, a refresh, and then and then of course uh, you know my, my favorite would be Control Plus and Control Minus. Sometimes I will be sitting in my in my banking screen, for example, and you know I want the text to be smaller or larger. I hit Control Plus, and it just zooms in the text. So Control Plus zooms in the text, and Control Minus zooms out the text. So there are some screens in QuickBooks that I want bigger text, and there are some screens in QuickBooks that I want smaller text. So that's really up to you. And if you are somewhere like, you know, really zoomed in or somewhere really zoomed out, if you hit Control-0, it will take you back to 100%. Okay, so if you want to just reset to 100%, you do uh, Control-0. Okay, and then that link on the slides here, um, if you click on that link, it will take you to a page where all the Chrome shortcuts are. So every Chrome shortcut that I covered, plus a lot more, um, will 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 uh, will be here. So just click on the link on this on the handouts, and you're gonna have all of the Chrome. Remember, these are Chrome shortcuts, not QBO shortcuts. So this will work on any website, you know, per se, or any any anything else that's sort of uh, browser based.